I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. Tell me that it's all okay. I've been waiting on this all damn day. Back in high school, I was a little rap scallion, all right? I was a little, a little troublemaker. Quite honestly, I just didn't like going to school. I mean, I think I skipped more days than I went. But I got an absolute banger story for y'all, all right? So pull up a chair, get some snacks, get a bev. Light a blunting, Tim, because we going in! So it is 6.45 a.m. and I am doing the classic walk to the bus stop with my headphones in and my hoodie up. And I get to the bus stop and I am greeted with the presence of my boy, JD. You know, dap him up and he's like, bro, I got a business proposition for you. And I'd be lying if I said I wasn't intrigued. Alright, bro, hear me out. I got some weed in my bag, alright? I got some papers, you know, maybe we roll a stinky jointing tin? Hey bro, I'm down for that, but the bus is about to be here in two minutes. Oh, uh, you kinda right. That's what I'm saying. Well, I mean, we don't have to get on the bus. Huh? We don't have to get on the bus. We don't. We can skip. And quite honestly, that's all the motivation I needed. So we looked around at our classmates, gave them the salute, and walked back the other way. So me and JD are walking, and we're thinking, where are we gonna smoke this joint? And JD says, yo, we can smoke it at my crib. My mom's not gonna be home until 4 p.m. And I'm like, oh, ho, ho, for sure. So we walk up into JD's crib. This is the first time I've ever been to JD's house. Like, we've hung out before, but never at his actual crib. But anyway, we get into his room, fire up the PS4, load up some Black Ops 3, okay? I'm hyped. And bro starts rolling up this absolute immaculate joint. All right, I'm kind of exaggerating. It was like a, it was like a C tier joint. But anyway, bro opens his window. We had the smoke out of his window. You gotta do what you gotta do. All right. <coughs> oh, oh, bro. <laughs> Yo, bro, your dog's trying to bite me. Nah, bro, he don't bite. What the fuck? My guy had the goddamn hellhound, bro. I don't even know how to describe this to y'all, but this dog looked like it lifted weights. Fun fact, I'm also allergic to dogs, so I was not having a good time. I was very high, okay? And you know, you get dry eyes from smoking, but you know what makes it even worse? When you have a dog allergy and your eyes are already dry. I rub my eyes. Bro, my eyes were feeling like pine cones, dude. And I couldn't stop sneezing, bro. It was bad. And I just told bro straight up, I'm like, yo, we gotta, like, not be in here right now. Dude, I'm tweaking. So, you know, he agreed, and he decided, hey, let's go get some food down at the 7-Eleven. And I'm like, uh, Beddington. So we leave bro's crib, and, you know, I thought that the joint hit before... But nah, dude, as soon as we left the house, that shit smacked me. It was like a 15-minute walk to the 7-Eleven, so it wasn't too bad, and we had nothing to do. We were skipping school. So, you know, we're walking, and we're just talking about random stuff. And then we both start getting a little paranoid. Because, hey, like, we're skipping school, we're high, this is some real felony shit. I mean, bro, I thought I saw my mom drive by, like, four times. I was tweaking. And, you know, JD didn't really help the mood either. He convinced himself that he broke his ankle. Uh, bro, why are you walking like that? I think I broke my ankle. What are you talking about? Maybe it's fractured. But by the grace of God, we arrived to 7-Eleven alive. Okay, so I lied. It wasn't like a real 7-Eleven. It was like one of those little, like, corner stores. Which was fire because it had a couch in it next to, like, you know where they do the lottery tickets? So, you know, we bought our Pringles. I had to go with the classic. And an absolute W Bev, the blue Gatorade. And we went over and sat on the couch. And we were probably sitting on the couch for upwards of 45 minutes, bro. We were just high. And we eventually decide it's time for us to depart the convenience store so we start walking back <sighs> damn it's pretty cold out bro uh -huh. what's wrong my ankle bro your ankle is not broken i can assure you and then it happened jd's mom drove by oh fuck it's my mom and we start sprinting and i'm thinking in my head for a kid with a broken ankle you're running pretty good but hey you haven't lived until you've sprinted away from someone or something. So we are running through these neighborhoods. We are hopping fences. I'm gonna be honest. I don't even think his mom saw him. But like, we were just so high, we were paranoid. Eventually, we ended up at our old elementary school. Bro says... Yo, can I come over to your crib? And I'm like, no, dude, my mom is home. But I can't go home. My mom just saw us and my ankle's broken. Your ankle is not bro- Oh. Dude. Apparently, when we were leaving his house for the first time, bro was so high that he put his shoes on the wrong feet. At that point, I was like, bro, I'm going home. 
I'll see you at school tomorrow. Good luck. So I walk home. I go upstairs. My mom is there. She's like, why aren't you at school? I'm like, the bus never came. She's like, I don't believe that. So she called up to school, and they're like, yeah, bro just didn't show up. His bus came, and I got grounded for two weeks. I went in my bed. You already know I passed the fuck up. Baby girl, girl you know what I want. Let me do it till you do you like. Let me do you like. Ah, 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 ah,